So we're going to talk about uh, Bearden single head machine 15 color uh, and it's the embroidery automat series. So any automat series that have uh, the CF card reader into it so you can you can load the embroidery designs into the machine with that CF card uh, which I'm going to show you how to. So first uh, first of all like you know it will it starts up it shows up that it, it starts with this screen and you just hit enter to it the machine moves automatically on itself and then may bring it to the zero level and then it always asks that do you want to use the previous image that you are using or not or you just say no and now I'm going to show you like I'll take you to the computer and uh, show you how to transfer the image into the CF card from computer, I mean DST file, and then uh, from uh, we'll come back here and I'll show you how to do it from CF card to load into the machine here. So now when you load the CF card into the memory disk here and then open up, like you know, you open up any embroidery. The, um, folder that you want to transfer and then on to that uh, USB drive here if you see that you know I, I have three folders in here so uh, it is very important to have this folder extension with this extension here it doesn't matter whatever name you give it to I have given it to na the name uh, designs but important is that you have to have TFD file extension at the end of the folder in order to um, machine to read the DST file so uh, you can also like you know I'll, I can I can delete them and I'll show you like let's say if I take this the dot FDR is basically like you know when you had to take uh, the DST file out from the machine to the um, the CFD uh, drive, the, you need the FDR, and machine actually creates that folder automatically if you if you choose to transfer it from the machine to uh, the CFD card. But, but once again, you, that's that's least important. No, I, I don't think anybody would do would like to do that. Anyway, the, the most important thing is to transfer the DSD file from. Uh, CFD file to the machine. So for that you have to have this uh, TFD uh, extension. So you can also like rename it to anything. I have I've given it like I said uh, uh, designs, but you can you can you can put it like you know the DSD DSD uh, dot TFD. But the important is dot TFD. So you create any folder with this .tfd, and uh, the machine will read. The machine will know that there, there is the DSD file under this folder. So you double click, open it, and then you you click the DSD file, drag and drop, simply uh, just simple as as the USB. And then uh, um, I would I would always recommend that you know you just uh, right click on it and then click eject uh, in order to. Uh, eject it properly so it doesn't uh, short circuit. Okay. So I'm back with the uh, with the CF CF card loaded with uh, one embroidery file which we just saw on the computer. And then so you, in order to put this one, you have to make it that way. And then you you, you see that you, you need to see uh, the 128 MB uh, in front. Like you know, you, you can't put it that way. It has to be go go on this way and then under um, there. You just push it, and you see that that button comes out. That means it has pushed it properly. And then to take it out, you just push that button back. It pulls out, and then just like that. Once again, and you will also hear a beep like that. That. Uh, the CF card has installed properly. Now, when it when it installed, uh, you need to go under the menu, and then in here, uh, correspond this. So, so this is basically the design toggling design. So we need to uh, toggle the design, 
and that's the corresponding button B so when you click B it will it will load whatever the image is already on the memory uh, and then you need to uh, go next and then click on the CF card here right it is and you click on the CF card sorry you click on the CF card and here you see that is like you know the name of the folder that we gave DSD and the format is TFD so machine needs to read this TFD folder so after you uh, go like you know you, you see that you just uh, click on the E button that means um, we need to transfer uh, something from CF card to the folder or CF uh, folder to the CF or whatever like whatever you need to do you have to go under this first now when you go under that it shows that whatever the designs we have under that uh, folder that dot tfd folder so i have this design here dot mom and uh, now you, like let's say if you have multiple designs you can just select with this uh, navigation key whichever you want to select like left right left right and then i only have one here so i don't have any option to select but anyway so this is look basically this is selected already now uh, so, so these functions basically you, it definitely says that you know do you need to delete that so you click that one and then uh, this also it shows that uh, how, how it, this is going to write uh, how is it going to be sewn so and then you can go back to because it CF card shows and now you need to put it into the memory so CF to memory so you click on that button and then once again you need to select let's say if you have multiple in the row here you just go back and forth and select whichever you want to transfer in this case this is the only one and and then click enter as soon as you hit enter you'll see that you know it loads up and it will be into the memory so there you go yeah that's load and and see that's that's the dogma and 4000 zero uh, 4307 stitches and that went into the number 10 and the needle this is the needle position so the needle position is on the uh, zero right now now if you need to like this is uh, in these machines what happens is uh, if it's only one color um, design it won't allow you to change like you know choose the color because you simply take uh, change the needle to that color and uh, it starts sewing it, it doesn't need to know which color you need to apply so so that's it uh, and then but let's say if there is multiple actually uh, let me go back and uh, try to load another uh, which has uh, more color into it so that I can show you how to select the color as well I'll be right back so I'm back on my computer to load another into the CF card so I'm gonna just as soon as you insert the card it should read and there we go and under that DSD so we had the, the dot mom right there and then every time when we put uh, the CF card into the machine it all again once again creates a small BMP file if you open it you, you, you see that it's going to show us like you know show us how it's going to show so that's nice but I mean you can just delete it or, or, or you can leave it there that's not a bit but let's say I am going to oops my USB is a little bit loose there but so I have opened it again and Let's just transfer another, maybe just color three there that has two colors in it. And then uh, once again, right click on it, eject, and it's gone. Now we're going to go to the machine. So I'm back, and I also actually went back and uh, loaded one more. Uh, a DSD file that had actually that has multiple colors just not two colors so I thought I should show you a little bit more uh, on how to uh, load the like assign the colors so once again I loaded that 
go under the menu and, and also like always make sure that you are into the like you know this flashing uh, mode that means you are not into the stitching mode editing mode so go under the menu and then uh, let it read okay here again so we need to go under the toggle image uh, image toggle so there and then these are the one that's already on and then this is the this is the last one that we put it on uh, dog mom and then go to the next now select the cf card once again you need to put anything uh, so so that's that's the dot tfd folder we need to select it that folder to able to work on now i have three images in here so you can see that you know i have uh, that was the one that already was there then now there is a coyote which has two colors in it and this is busters and it has multiple color in it and i'll, I'll show you how to transfer both now let's say i'm going to transfer the coyote t-shirts first so i selected that now i click on a to cf to memory uh, memory like internal memory here so click on a oh so that's a good thing to show now this is a huge file it has like you know 9000 and i already had quite a few in it uh, so that's why it says that uh, the memory in here it only takes 60,000 max stitches so including combine all the stitches it will take only 60,000 so right now it shows um, that it's full so it's good that I can also show you how to delete some image uh, previous from uh, here so click on the right and you need to go back to the menu go here to pull the internal memory and then with with this navigation key you go up and I think I'm gonna take which is the highest oh I've got all 10 in here all right so let's just go and delete let's start from the first here and then next so delete of course and then yes let's again go back to image with the navigation key down select another one next I hit the menu instead of next again so I'm gonna go back under the menu and bring this menu in and then that next oh I keep on hitting this sorry security and, and then I, I select it with with this key I select coyote and then hit enter as soon as I hit enter it loaded and it says that it went into the first position and then also another one with this uh, I want to go next CF and then from folder to CF to folder and then this one so now we need to take that one and then hit enter and it's in and it's in the second folder <laughs> uh, second place sorry so and it has 9371 stitches so this has quite a few um, uh, images uh, sorry uh, the colors in it so so there are four colors in it total but there are once again each color is keep on changing so there are one two three four five six seven seven sequences so I'll show you how to do that now in this machine uh, you do not select the first color in the line so I, I had written it here so it had like you know four colors but it, it keep on changing so first is white red yellow white red black and white again 
So now what we have to do is the white. You do not select the color white because you need to change the needle position to the white. So it's gonna sew, start sewing white. So you went, like you know when you start um, assigning the number, you need to start from the second line, like you know depending on. So let's say my red here is on the, on number ten. So I it starts with the white, but I'll set the needle position to the white, which is which is number twelve here. And then the first uh, number that I'm going to select is going to be red and then yellow, white, red, black and white. So for that you're still into the editing mode, you go under the color changing, right? So, so this is color changing corresponding C, you click on that. So when you click on that you notice that it automatically started from 1521 stitches, so that means the, the machine has already sewn white color because we we, uh, um, we set the needle position to the white color right so it has already started sewing and then it is asking you to set the second color very first okay so the second color is which I'll go from the back, 10 which is the red and then enter now the third color is yellow, white, red, black, white. So third color is yellow. My yellow is on fourth position. So one, two, three, four. And then once again, red, yellow, back to white. So go back number 10 again, enter. Then red, so, oh, actually white. So here again, I did the mistake, right? I, I need to change it like the second was white and I, I selected 10 well I needed to be selected uh, 12 because the white is on the 12th position anyway we'll keep on doing uh, now yellow white again red so we'll do the red is 10 enter black is number six and then enter and then white again And then as soon as you hit enter, it will say beep, and then it's done. Now, I, I changed, I, I did the mistake, right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back, and then I'll have to start with red color. So red is number 10, so that's good. Enter, second is yellow, that is four, good. This is white actually, but I selected two, so I can again change it. Hit enter, then uh, red, good, black, good, white, good, and then white again. And that's done. So you start changing the needle position to number 12. So go under the menu until this brings up and this is the change needle changing position you click on that one okay I think I, I, my my motor has stuck on on one number that's why it's not showing that it won't move but you just need to do that and then click enter here and it will 